Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today, we're going to do a reading for all signs, but we're going to do for each sign. So we're going to start with Aries and go around the clock. Um, and I'm going to use a little bit of a different format than you're used to me, than you're used to seeing from me. Um, but something is just calling to me to use a certain format. So I'm going to use um, a couple different decks. I'm going to use the Light Seers. But I am going to set them over here for right now. I am going to use the Psychic Tarot. Same thing. We're going to set them over here. I'm going to use the Romance Angels. And I'm going to use this for each sign. And then we're going to use the Gilded Tarot to do any clarifying um, or to go deeper. And then I have a little deck over here that's called... Um, the Divine Celestial Tarot. And I really use these just for clarifying. So if need be, we'll bring them into it. Try to straighten them out. Um, but we're going to start with Aries. And what I'm going to do, it's probably easier if I just show you. So let me go ahead and, although they're already pre-shuffled, let me go ahead and give them a couple duffels. And I will have them time stamped. I don't know if I said that. By the way, um, I'm going to be doing some giveaways also. I'm just trying to figure the best way of doing it. Keep your eyes and ears open. I, I almost want to do it in this reading, but I'm not really sure how to go about it. So I'll think about it as we're going along. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a card we have the seven of cups so aries that makes me feel like you're thinking about something right now trying to make a decision we have the queen of cups on the other side and queen of cups can certainly represent uh scorpio cancer or pisces it doesn't have to be um you know seven of cups can also be a cancer card but the Seven of Cups to me is about trying to make a decision, trying to decide whether I want to take one of these cups. Sometimes it can talk about, you know, the like a cup coming to you in a chaotic period, you know, like a chaotic day. And then all of a sudden your phone rings or something like that. It doesn't have to be about love. But let's see. We have four cups all right so this makes me feel like you do want some type of change in your life four cups can talk about discontentment or boredom in one's life you know but what i love about the four cups really the message of the four cups is really learning how to use your spiritual discernment here comes a cup here comes a cup and it feels like it's coming right from the hand of god so I'm not sure I'd really want to turn this cup down, though I feel like that is why the Seven of Cups is here. So here is this cup. Interesting, because the Queen, she's holding that cup. So we're going to take one more in between. We have, interestingly, two Queens. Queen of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, let me just readjust myself here. So, let's talk about these queens for a second, because the Queen of Wands is an action-oriented queen. This is someone who, you know, really doesn't let fear stop her from whatever it is that she's passionate about. Um, she flows according to her passions. Queen of Cups is someone who, um, very intuitive. They're both really intuitive, but the Queen of Cups can... You know, I almost feel like could be psychic. She's mirroring the Seven of Cups. So, again, this Four of Cups coming in. Discontentment, boredom, looking for some type of change, looking for something else in my life. The universe is hearing you. So, they're sending this cup in. It's going to be up to you. You know, you have to remember we have free will. And I could see how... Um, it is you that has to make that decision, but I also notice how this queen 
does have a cup. Like she is holding that cup that's coming in. Um, this could certainly represent two different people with the queens. But to me, a lot of times in a reading, I feel like it's the same person. Just different actions. So, Queen of Wands coming before the Queen of Cups makes me feel like this is someone who... You know, I feel like this cup is coming in at a, at a time... Probably when you least expect it. Um, though I do feel like some of you probably have like put those intentions out there. And it's like the universe is answering you. Then you have to make that ultimate decision. Um, let's take one of the romance angels. Give him a shuffle real quick. And I do want to cut, give him a cut. To me, this is just a symbol that. I am ready to use them in a reading. So, I'm just going to pull a card. Okay. Put them right there. We have, you deserve love. You deserve love. You know what's interesting is like, this person shooting their arrow towards something. Almost like, you know, like I want to hit the bullseye, and that bullseye seems to be this cup. You are lovable. You are lovable. All right, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. And um, the reason why I'm making these a little shorter, just so you know, because I know you're used to long readings for me, is because I can only record for so long. And then it shuts off, and it seems like Pisces always, like, it's right when we hit Pisces where it wants to shut off, so. All right. But I do want to shuffle for these. So we're looking at the Seven of Cups, the Four of Cups. I mean, first of all, hello, Cups. The Seven of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Queen of Cups. And then you have the Queen of Wands. We have the Six of Cups. You know, Aries, it makes me feel like you're in this emotional energy right now. Um, you know, the Six of Cups, it certainly can speak about someone you already know. So there could be someone that you know who is, like, offering a cup. When I say offering a cup, you know, I want to say offering love. But maybe it's just asking, asking you out on a date. It could certainly be something that turns into love. Um, you know, this is someone that you would already know. This is someone that when you think about them, they bring a smile to your face. So this is, to me means it's someone that you'd want to be with. This could be someone way back from your childhood. And then, well, hello, judgment. So judgment is your spiritual team. And they are calling you to the present moment. And there's a reason why they're calling you to the present moment. There's about to be a rebirth, if you allow it. If you allow it. You know, judgment calls you to the present moment because that's where your signs are sent. In the present moment. You know, that's where this cup is really noticeable. Again, in the present moment. So. There's about to be a rebirth in your life, dear Aries. And um, I have the feeling the majority of you are this Queen of Wands. And I feel like King, the Queen of Cups is more about someone accepting this cup. And again, it doesn't have to mean like, you know, we're falling right in love. But it definitely feels like from, you know, this cup is coming from someone that, again, would bring a smile to your face. That you would have good memories over. Let's say you were in a relationship with this person. And it did break up. Even the breakup I feel like would be something like I'm able to let go of. You know because chances are. Again I feel like I do want this cup. Hmm. one more hmm. 
two more. So interesting, we get another queen. Excuse me. Um, queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But let's just think about the energy. You know, it's interesting because I call the Queen of Pentacles my psychic detective. And then next to this queen is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is mirroring right now the Six of Cups. So passion, desire. You know, the Knight means this is coming in for you. Um, I have a feeling love is on the horizon for you. Now, you know, does this have to be love? I mean, it could be like a really good offer, um, but it's definitely something with your emotions because we have so many cups on the board. But also we have passion and desire on the board. You know, and again, I feel like the Queen of Wands is you. I kind of feel like it's all of the queens are you. Um, but of course, use your own intuition. Um, and I'm saying that because, again, it's like judgment comes out, calling it to the present moment. There's about to be a rebirth. Um, you know, I already know that it's about this cup that's coming in. But don't forget, the energy it's coming over is discontentment, boredom within my own life. So I must be looking for a change. Doesn't mean that I'm even asking, but like in my heart of hearts, I want something to change. And I feel like your guides, they hear you. They hear you. Um, and because you're getting, you deserve love. And again, I feel like she's like shooting her arrow. She's got someone in mind already. So like that arrow is going to reach. And of course, that could be the other person, you know, who's offering this cup. It's like that arrow. It's like Cupid's arrow. It's going to reach you. Um, you know, I love the Knight of Wands mirroring the Six of Cups. So, you know, if this is just someone you know, like let's just say is an old friend or what have you, it's definitely signifying that there's passion there. It definitely signifies that there would be some type of chemistry. And again, this may be someone that you never even thought of. Well, I don't know. Maybe you have thought of them. Um, because, you know, it, it, I'm getting this feeling like someone's thinking about you and then you start thinking about them, which happens a lot, by the way. Like someone comes to your mind all of a sudden. Like, why am I thinking about you? Well, chances are they're thinking about you. Judgment coming out, calling you to the present moment, getting you ready. You know, of course, the ball will be put in your court. That's really what the Seven of Cups is. Like, you decide if you're going to accept this cup or not. But your spiritual team is like, but you deserve love. You deserve this love. And again, the Queen of Cups, she's holding that cup. So I know that cup comes in. And I know that cup has passion and desire attached to it. So, long story short, Aries, I feel like someone's coming back into your life. And, um, of course, it will be up to you. And, you know, I feel like a little bit of a clue is because you really can't plan love. Um, though someone can plan reaching out to you. Um, but I feel like a little bit of the clue is it may be at a time really when you least expect it, because you may be like having this type of day where, I don't know, I feel like everything is going wrong. Um, maybe I'm giving up hope and then boom, my phone rings or I get a text message you know, some type of communication, you know, maybe like you literally meet this person because I don't have any swords. So maybe it's actually like seeing this person again. For some of you, that may be what it is. Like I see this person and like right off the bat, passion starts flowing. 
All right, Aries. Are you ready? You know, don't forget judgment. Calling you to the present moment. This is where I send your signs. I'm getting you ready for a rebirth. If you so choose. But everything about it feels good. Passionate. Desirable. She's holding this cup. To me, that feels like a yes. Again, it feels like it's coming. You know, this could be also be past life. But I feel like it's it's it would be with someone who, again, when I think about them, they really bring a smile to my face. This isn't someone that I'm angry with or anything like that. You could have been with them. Um, but even with the breakup, I feel like I was able to let that go. But I really feel for the majority, like you have not been together in a romantic way. But I have a feeling you're about to be. I have a feeling you're about to be. All right. So let's pick this up. Aries. Good way to start the reading. All right, so let's move on to Taurus. Page of Wands. Look at that little side eye. <clears throat> Page of Wands is my risk taker. Look at that little side eye. We have the Chariot. Hmm, interesting. Card of Cancer, by the way. We have the Emperor. Interesting because we just did Aries reading. This is Aries Major Arcana. By the way, you have two Major Arcanas so far. And then last but not least, well, hello, lovers. So three Major Arcanas. Hello, lovers. So let's talk about this. So the Emperor is a card of Aries. Lovers is a card of Gemini, and the Chariot is a card of Cancer. But, in a way, now I just want you to forget about all that. So we have the Lovers. The Lovers, the meaning of the Lovers is a head over heart decision. I don't see anywhere here where you're trying to make a decision. Um, more, I feel it's about you taking a chance, like taking a chance and... You know, with the lovers here, if this, again, I'm not trying to make these love readings, but right off the bat, I feel like that's what we're talking about. Um, so the Page of Wands, again, my risk taker. And the Emperor, you know, if it's not an Aries for you, then this, to me, talks about someone that I can really look up to. This is someone who I would feel like, you know, like they got their shit together. Um, this is someone who cares about their fellow man. And probably helps in some way. You know the lovers here. If you just look at them. Like they're completely naked. Both of them. And I feel that means that each of us can be ourselves with each other. So I don't have to wear a mask. I don't have to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. This is someone who will see me just for who I am. And, and me them. The chariot really represents unlimited potential, but I often feel the chariot is really moved by our intentions, and the page of wands is someone who definitely put those intentions out there. You know, this can also represent a younger, like, maybe even a younger fire sign. But right now, I feel it's more about taking a chance. All right, let's bring in a lover's, I mean, the lover's, let's bring in a romance card. Getting to know each other. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. No wonder I noticed that, they, that both of them were naked. And I say that because that means that someone's accepting me for exactly who I am. The good, the bad, the ugly. And I'm accepting them for exactly who they are. 
This could say just take take it slow, get to know each other. Um, you don't have to move quickly unless you so choose. You know, this image, I often feel like this is someone saying, you know, I come as a package deal. You may have children, a child. You know, we do have the father figure also here. So chances are they would also have children. So it could be blending, like blend, like let's just say that we say yes to all this. It could talk about like families blending. Getting to know each other. All right. Let's go ahead and take... Um, the Gilded Tarot over this. Well, hello, Knight of Pentacles. You know, I love the Knight of Pentacles. This is a knight that does move slowly, but slow with purpose. This is a night that tells you I come in the right time, not before, not after. Um, this night brings you in a pentacle. You know, I feel like this is guardian angel energy. So I feel like your spiritual team, again, is here. But it feels like a guardian angel. Um, and I bring you in a pentacle. And this pentacle is truly meant to enhance your life. We have mm, Seven of Swords. Interesting. We have the Hierophant. Card of Taurus. Your Major Arcana. We have the Seven of Wands. Interesting energy we're getting here is that Ace that the Knight is promising. So it's actually showing. And that's a really good thing. Because to me that means this is not something that I have to wait years for like and and then let's not forget the knight of pentacles says i come at the right time and that can talk about certain people's energy being cleared um again i see these lovers in this loving embrace and i love that your major arcana is right below it some of you could certainly be connected to to a gemini But here is that ace. And look at this. We've got the four cups again. Four cups again. So, again, I feel like I'm looking for some change. There is some discontentment in my life. Um, it's interesting that the seven of swords is here, which it really is about, you know, deception, envy. Um, someone who takes more than they really need. This could certainly talk about someone who needed to evolve. The two sevens that are on the table, the seven of wands, that's where one is like defending, like I'm defending myself or standing my ground. You know, I have a feeling some of you are ending a relationship or you may have just ended a relationship. And that feels like what the Knight of Pentacles was waiting for. You know, even energetically, I ended it. The Hierophant right next to the Seven of Swords makes me feel like I'm forgiving. Because remember, that is light energy. It is about, like, your faith, your hope. Um... But I feel like you, you are like, I feel like you are lacking something. Yet the Knight of Pentacles is going to bring it in. You know, whatever this Knight is bringing in, it brings in at the right time. And to me, sometimes that feels like predestined. I have a feeling some of you here may have recently ended a relationship. And it may not have been the greatest of relationships. Um, but nonetheless, it's like you felt like, okay, I need to end this so I can better my own life. So I can be happy within my life. And the Four of Cups would say, you're a little discontented. This, uh, you're a little discontent, but you don't need to be. 
You know what I mean? Like, you don't need to be. So the cherry could also speak about the change, right? Like moving away from one relationship and the potential of a new relationship. You know, whatever this ace is bringing in, it's truly meant to expand your world. But I feel like it is the lovers. Especially with the four of cups there. Again, this person about to receive this cup. Interesting, we got this card again. Some of you may have been saying some prayers. Or putting like positive affirmations out there. And you just might be surprised because I feel like it's being answered. Yeah. I feel like, you know, what needs to let go, I need to let go. You know, like what's not working in my life, I need to allow that to go. And I need to just put my faith in, you know, because again, I feel like some of you are like saying prayers um for someone who will love you just for who you are and i feel like that prayer is being answered but listen again the knight of pentacles i come at the right time so i feel like there's this energy before this that is of a layer of vibration and maybe i simply need to cut ties to that you know, sometimes we give people, like, too much time. Because I feel like someone has revealed to you who they truly are. You just need to be like, okay, I know who you are. You know what I mean? And again, I feel like this would be energy of, well, probably someone you couldn't trust. Um, I feel like someone where you're, like, constantly putting out their fires. And, you know, how long do I want to do that? Knight of Pentacles is like, I'll wait for as long as it takes. But the minute you're ready, then I'm ready. The minute you make the changes necessary, well, then I bring in this ace. And this ace, again, is really meant to expand your world. It is mirroring the emperor. Some of you could be... Like the future father of your children. I don't really feel like this is anyone coming back. I feel like this would be someone new. Um, but again, to me, like the main part of this reading is saying, I need to look at my life and I need to make some decisions on how I want my life to look and the power I have with my own intentions prayers being answered but i feel like they can't be answered maybe the way that you want until certain energy has been cleared but i feel like you will do that or you have done that and then the chariot again represents unlimited potential sitting right next to the lovers and I, and i'm also picking up don't allow people of the past who didn't treat you well, didn't know how to love you, don't allow them to block what wants to come in for you. You know, sometimes um, people who are in a relationship who didn't treat us well, sometimes we're learning from them. And one of the things I feel like you learned is what you don't want. I feel like you definitely are looking for someone that you can look up to. You know, like someone who's got a job, probably a good job. Someone who um, is very giving. And then making that head over heart decision. You know, I, I know it can be difficult because I do feel like... For a lot of you, like you just ended something or you're about to end something that it definitely feels like it needed to end. Because I feel like I spent so much time putting out this person's like one fire and then another fire starts and I put that fire out and then there's another one. And it feels like an endless cycle. So how do I end this cycle? I got to leave it. 
I gotta leave it. And then this four cups, here comes this cup, mirroring the lovers. Knight of Pentacles, I come at the right time, and that you can trust in. Coming over the page of wands, my risk taker. Um, now, this could certainly be younger energy through the page of wands sitting next to the emperor. You know, some of you are late to a fire sign. Could certainly be their younger energy and now who they are today. So, again, the emperor in the upright to me is someone I can definitely look up to. Some of you, this could certainly talk about someone's a little older than you. Um, I feel wisdom with this person. You know, like they're wise, intelligent. <clears throat> but in the same breath, I feel like, you know, getting to know each other means just taking your time. Because as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And that is why I'm seeing the lovers naked. I can be exactly who I am with you. I don't have to pretend that I'm this or that I'm that. Some of you, this could even talk about like religion. I feel like I feel like there was a lesson that you learned. And because you learned that lesson, it's like you're telling the universe, OK, I am now ready and open. I love the Hierophant right above the four cups using your spiritual discernment and then the hierophant which to me is light energy <clears throat> so it feels like you're leaving dark energy so that you can now enter into light energy you know you're leaving a bad relationship so now you can enter in hopefully what will be like an everlasting relationship again i know this person's going to love you for exactly who you are no masks needed. And I feel like once I clear that energy, then it's the right time for the night to bring in this pentacle. And so it does. And so it does. You know, the best thing I would say here, because I do feel like there's an ending of one relationship, but again, the person I'm ending this relationship with, I feel like, has really kind of put me through hell anyway. And then taking your time with this new relationship. But very quickly, very quickly, I feel like you'll just feel the difference between, you know, there's different levels of love. And I feel like you've been in a lower level of love, like a lower vibration of love. But I feel like that has a lot to do with someone else. But then again, you probably did lower your your vibration to be with them. But I feel like, you know, I'm tired of that. Like I keep putting out your fires and other fires starts. So this feels like someone's coming in who, um, you know, like if they offer you the world, I believe them. I believe them. And again, for some of you, it's just looking back and understanding what you now know you don't want as it relates to love. You know, this Ace of Pentacles can also represent some of you getting a new job. Um, you know, like, like something piques your interest and it can even be like in a creative avenue. And this may be how you meet this person. I don't feel like you, ha I don't feel like you need to worry. Like, will I be at the right place at the right time? Because the Knight of Pentacles has that covered for you, right? So when this Knight comes in, when it brings in this Ace that is meant to expand your world, it is the right time. And simply, what just is no longer good for me or doesn't respect me, it's time to let them go. And don't think that there won't be anybody else on the horizon. Some of you maybe already have, and maybe it's taken some time to like really heal yourself. 
Um, but I do feel like you need to be open. That's the one thing. I feel like be open. But I also feel like this person who's coming in um, will make you feel very comfortable. Like, let's say they come in and you're like, I don't know. Right? Because the lover is head over heart decision. Like, I don't know. You know, I just dealt with someone where their energy was pretty difficult. I feel like they will show you. You know, even though I do feel like you're going to feel the chemistry immediately, I still feel like this is someone who is more than happy to take their time. But they are going to pursue you. They are going to pursue you. But they're going to pursue you in a way where they're giving you space. Yet, the chemistry, I feel like, is the clue here. Like, the chemistry, I feel like, is just going to be off the charts. Even though I may hide it a little bit. Um, so, I feel like there's just a little bit of, like, past energy that is stopping this night from coming in. But, as I say that, I want to remind you again, this night will come in. But it's in the right time. It's it's right when you're ready for it. It's right when you can take this ace, which again is truly meant to expand your life, and you allow it to. Because remember, when the ace of pentacles comes in, I often read it as like a seed. And it's going to be up to me whether I nurture this seed, you know, whether I give it water, you know, to me it would mean like love. Whether I um, make sure it's getting plenty of sun to me means like you're not isolating yourself. I feel like a prayer is being answered. And you may have been waiting, but I feel like also the universe may have been waiting on you. But the good news here is, there, well, there's a lot of good news. Because I feel like who's ever in this lover's energy, of course, you are one of them. Um, this other person is definitely someone who has integrity. And it really does carry unlimited potential. And why is that? Well, because it's coming from the light. You're directly connected to the lover's. But you're also connected to these two sevens that were not easy. So no wonder I want some change in my life. That's exactly what the Four of Cups is offering you. You know, here's the Ace. And then using your spiritual discernment. So I don't feel like you need to rush though. You know, because again, I feel like this person is more than happy to pursue you um, and whatever that may mean. Uh, I don't feel like they're in, like they're not going to rush you. They probably know better. They themselves have probably lived a lot of life, had a lot of experiences, have overcome a lot. They themselves may have dealt with someone just like you are dealing with. And that may be why they understand, like, you wanting it, wanting to take it slow. Now, I do want to remind everyone, you know, we can flip the script. You know what I mean? So you could be the one coming in. Um, again, the Knight of Pentacles, Guardian Angel Energy. I'm bringing you a knight. I'm bringing you a page. It literally shows the page. Or the ace. Why am I saying a page? It literally shows the ace that is bringing in. And, um, you know, I have to say, Taurus, I feel like, yes, this is talking about love. But I also feel like the opportunity to increase your own finances. You know, again, it could be even a job offer. Maybe, I feel like it may be two things. Like two things may be coming your way. One may be a cup. And way one may be like a solid offer. Okay, let's let that be.
Sorry, I put those on the bottom. Um, I'm going to change decks. I don't know. Something's just saying change decks. We may go back, but let's go ahead and bring in the Psychic Tarot now. Let me give it a shuffle or two. So we're moving into Gemini. Gemini. Um, real interesting, Taurus, that you had Aries and Gemini, neighbors on both sides of you, show up in your reading. All right, Gemini. Ace of Swords. Triumphant success. I'll take it. You know, the Ace of Swords is my yes card. <clears throat> um, I feel like it stands for truth. Integrity. Look at that. I just said truth. And the word truth comes out. This is judgment. So you are also being called to the present moment. This may be asking you to be truthful with yourself about something. But it's also about a rebirth. We have movement, choices, and decisions. So, do I accept that temptation? Um, card of Capricorn. Feels like... Feels like, like a phone's gonna ring. You know, some type of message is gonna come in. And you are making a decision here because you have movement choices and decisions. <clears throat> Interesting, we have temptation, but over here we have triumph success. So this doesn't feel like anything. Um, you know, I feel like I feel like the only issue that I'm seeing at this point is if I was to say no to whatever judgment is talking about, again, a rebirth, that means something new. Something's entering your world, right? And it's literally putting the ball in your court. But starting with the Ace of Swords, I feel honesty, truth. Again, my yes card. But it is mirroring temptation. So some of you, you may just be used to like lower vibrational energy. And this may be moving you because I don't feel like judgment would say I'm about to off. Like there's about to be a rebirth in your life. I'm sending you signs. That's what judgment's really doing. That's why they call you to the present moment so that you can receive these signs. Truth. I already know it's truth because I said truth. Before truth came out. And then what do I do? Do I say yes? Do I say no? I feel like the only thing you may. Um, that may. Mm, you may question is. Is this going to be good for me? Is this of a higher vibrational energy? Or is this something. You know. Let's say you've been. Um. Just been attracted to lower vibrational energy. You know, you've been lowering your vibration to be whoever it is you felt like you needed to be or to be with someone. Now, again, there's no way judgment would say, I need you in the present moment because I'm about to send you some signs so I could take you back to lower vibrational energy. That's not going to happen. All right, let's take the Romance Angels. Hello, calling in your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate. Something is telling me, I could be wrong, but something is telling me that you got this in your October reading. I could be wrong, but for some reason I'm feeling that. Your prayers, affirmations, and visual, visual, uh, visualization, I can never say that word, 
help bring you together. So visualizing it, you know, those affirmations becoming reality, calling in your soulmate. Gemini. You know, not only are you calling in your soulmate, but your prayers are being answered. Well, that would be through judgment. So let's say you are, you know, you've been putting these affirmations out there, you know, or you've been saying prayers, however you want to say it. They've been heard. And I feel like they're about to be answered. All right. Let's go ahead and take the Gilda Chirrell. By the way, let me know what you think of this format. It's a little different um, than my normal. Double twos. You know, it makes me think of like a life path too. And what they're here really to accomplish. And that that is about relationships. Love, partnerships. Calling in your soulmate. Judgment saying, I have your soulmate. Justice. Carta Libra. Can I talk about cutting your ties. May go back, you know, I always feel bad for Capricorn because... It's hard to read this in a very positive way, other than we really do need to know both our shadow and light side. You know, when we understand our own shadow side, then it's very hard for anybody to pull us into lower vibrational energy. Justice, um, you know, can represent cutting a tie, so you may be cutting old ties. But really what justice is about is making you whole again. It's what's fair and just in your world. Hello, Ten of Cups. Wow. House of Love. House of Harmony. Laughter. Joy. You know, it's not a promise of... Uh, all rose gardens, but in the Ten of Cups, whoever I'm with in that energy, you know, if there are, if any issues arise, we'll work it out. We don't run from each other. You know, this to me feels like I'm making a commitment and potentially for the rest of my life. But I love that it's coming through the Ten of Cups. I mean, this is what judgment's bringing out. There's the Queen of Cups again. So, again, accepting that cup. Coming over movement choices and decisions. Let's just take one more. Um, Queen of Cups, again, can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But you know my feeling on that. We have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is that fine art of give and take. Sometimes it's something we have to learn. You know, um, sometimes we become the giver. Especially if I've been dealing with anyone with the lower vibrational energy. Doesn't mean they can't change. But I don't really feel like it's about that. I feel like this is about you calling in a soulmate. I feel like judgment is answering that prayer. Um, but it may have required you to cut ties. Now, it doesn't always have to mean cut ties to a person. It could be a certain energy. It could be just the way I was thinking. You made me, maybe I just thought it was impossible. But then it's showing the real possibility of it. This is someone who is empathetic and compassionate. This is someone, you know, I feel like in the Six of Pentacles, this is really what we're learning. The fine art of give and take. And, you know, and sometimes we can be the giver and someone else can just be the taker. 
Well, we want equal balance. That's what the Six of Pentacles wants you to find, that equal balance. Also, you being open. You know, sometimes we close down, you know, like, I can give. You know, I can give him my money, I can give him my time. But am I ready to give my love? Well, that may be why justice is also here. So some of you, that cutting of ties may just be your thought system. You know, not only are you calling in a soulmate, but I feel like the soulmate's arriving. And again, the ball's put in your court. Movement, choices, decisions. But then we see this queen who's got this cup in her hand. You know, it's interesting because I did not try to make these love readings, though I did have a feeling once I brought in the romance angels, it, you know, it's like, was I signaling to my guides that <clears throat> I wanted them to be love readings? Um, but they are what they are. So, let's see. On the board, we have um, Capricorn and Libra. Queen of Cups can be, um, I was going to say Virgo, can be uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But it doesn't have to be. You know, I kind of love this energy because I feel like these affirmations, the prayers, even visualizing it, you know, that means you're trying to manifest it. Well, judgment is like, okay, I'm going to give you the signs, the action steps to take to bring this about. And I feel like some of you may simply say, you know, is this going to be, um, is it going to be another relationship where it's just me giving and giving and giving? The answer is no. Um, and that may be, again, what I'm cutting ties to. It's, it's almost like old relationships have a hold on some of you. And instead of, like, letting them bring you down, think about what can be next. Now, I feel like here, you're calling in this soulmate. So this is something you definitely want. You just might be surprised how the universe is going to answer that. It's like, yes, here it is. Here is your true love. Here is the Ten of Cups. That is the house of love, harmony, joy. And, and again, I'm not going to say it's always an issue-free house, but this is a type of love where nobody's going to run out the door if there's a problem. So justice seems to be the main factor here. Um, because there's some, some type of ties you need to cut that, in a way, I feel like we're holding you back. And I don't feel like it's a person for everyone. I feel like it's your thought system. You know, your belief that there really can be true love. Listen, I know it. I'm living it after many years of not. So you never know. You never know. Judgment saying, just simply be in the present moment and I will help guide you together. I will help guide you together. Okay, Gemini. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. All right. Cancer. Again, I want to remind everyone that um, your October reading is already done. <clears throat> I did everything a little early because um, I do plan on taking a break at the um, second half of October. Um, 
And that's why I haven't done as many readings as I'm, you know, catching up on personal readings and everything. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on. All right, Cancer. Mm, Age of Swords, trapped in fear. This is a self created prison. This is when someone puts blocks up, walls up, trying to protect myself from something. You know, but as you grow spiritually, you start to understand that I don't really need to put these walls up. My intuition is going to let me know if something is good or not. That first instinct, you know, and I feel like many times we receive red flags, but as humans, we ignore them. And then maybe wonder why, like, ah, I saw that red flag. But listen, this is also an eight. So because you you are the creator of this prison, you can also uncreate it. It just simply means the willingness to bring down those walls. All right. We have well, your major arcana, the chariot. We have positive movement forward. So interesting, you have two eights, 88. Um, and one is a difficult eight, and the other eight is just full sunshine. It's full positivity. It's full of belief. You know, this person's in a ship, and it's like they're heading towards the sun. Let's see what comes in between that and look at this, the moon. This is your ruler, by the way. So double cancer right there. Um, You know what I feel like part of, let's just say the fear factor, because we do have trapped in fear. I feel like part of it is the not knowing, like, you know, Like, I want to know what the outcome of something's going to be. But it's like your guy just saying, but you can't know the outcome because you have free will. And the planting of your seeds of intention really determine what the outcome will be. The chariot is a reminder that it, you really have unlimited potential. You just need to trust in that. Maybe even trust in the flow. You know, the moon number 18, 888. You could be having a couple new beginnings in your life, but will you allow them? Will you allow them, Cancer? All right, let's bring in a romance angel. Worth waiting for. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Hello. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Uh, well, now I really want to bring down those walls. Especially because it's divine who is concerned about my love life. You know, like it's divine energy that's talking about love coming in. So I don't need these walls. I need to trust in my intuition. You know, and if the walls were built because, you know, some of you may... um you know, it can be hard sometimes not knowing if, like, I give my time and my energy to someone will last. Well, the chariot really does represent that unlimited potential. We don't want to forget that, but we also want to remember in the chariot's energy, it is our intentions that move the chariot. <clears throat> That's why I talk about free will so much. Because if I have nothing but negative attentions, it's it's mirroring the Eight of Swords, trapped in fear. And if I, let's just say, stay in that energy, then I feel like the chariot doesn't move. You know, 
like, where is it going to go? But if I can release myself from that, and really that is the sense of freedom. And even trusting in divine. Some of you may have been waiting, right? Worth waiting for. But maybe the wait has driven you a little crazy. But this feels like something is about to come to fruition. All right, let's take the guilty tarot below it. All right. Mm, nine of cups over the eight of swords. Well, that is a completely different way of thinking. Some of you didn't realize you had these walls up. You're like, oh, that's what I've been doing. I've been blocking. It's almost like I'm telling the universe that. You know, maybe I want love, but I've been blocking it in a way. But divine is still trying to get you ready. Nine of Cups, it can be singular energy. But it's about inner harmony. Completely different than the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, I'm living my life from a, from a fear-based energy. Nine of Cups, mm -mm, inner harmony. I feel good within my life. Nine of Cups is also about a fulfillment of a wish. We have the Five of Cups. Interesting. I'm feeling two different things with this energy. First of all, it's a five. So it speaks of change, right? It's coming under an eight, which is about a new beginning. <clears throat> but it's coming under positive movement forward. So the Five of Cups can be that energy. And that may also be why the Eight of Swords is here. Of, you know, focusing on the things that I have lost. The danger in that energy is we can get lost in it and it can turn into woe is me. Now, when someone makes that change and says, you know what? I'm not going to keep focusing on my past. I'm not going to keep fo focusing on the things that have gone wrong. I'm going to start looking at the potential of what the future may hold. Well, when this person says that, makes that change, puts these walls down. There's two cups that are right behind him. They don't know that. They don't know that. We have the King of Wands. Can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we have the Three of Swords. Okay, so definitely showing how prior heartache um, <clears throat> is what caused you to build these walls up. Some of you, you could certainly be missing someone. But at the same time, I feel like chances are they broke your heart. You know, could that be them coming back again? Well, let's say it is someone coming back. Their energy would have to be different. Their energy would just have to be different. But here's the thing. I feel like because divine timing is in work in your love life. What it's waiting for are these walls to come down. Moving out of this state of, let's say, sadness. Moving out of the three of swords energy. And listen, we've all gone through that where we've had our heart broken. It's coming right under your major arcana. But then we have the king of wands under the moon. So this could be someone new. You know, I'm not going to leave off the table that someone, back, someone old could be coming back again. But here's the thing. I feel like if they're coming back again then they themselves must have evolved because there's no way divine would, because divine is working in your love life. There's no way divine would bring you back more heartache. Quite the opposite. So 
Again, if this is someone old returning, their energy would be different. And you would know that. But I kind of feel like this is not someone old. I Because I just don't see divine... Well, let's take a card right over that Five of Cups. Look at that, the Two of Cups. So there's that Two of Cups. There's that Two of Cups. So someone's either said, you're right, I'm not going to focus on the things that I have lost. I'm not going to keep my focus on that Three of Swords. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to find a way to heal it. And I know that you do because the Nine of Cups is here and that is inner fulfillment. It's a different way of looking at life. Instead of looking at it through a fear-based lens, I'm looking at it with an optimistic lens. So this Five, this Five of Cups, where I am focused on what I have lost. And then that person makes says, I'm not going to do that anymore. It's not serving me to do that. Decides to make that change. There's those two cups. So this is about a soulmate. And it makes sense with, again, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. King of Wands coming out. To me, um, of course, again, again, representing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is someone I feel like is action-oriented. This is someone I feel like um, puts action behind their words. So if I utter the words, I love you, I mean it. And then I show you it. I don't just say I love you and then show you nothing. No, this is someone who would show you that. I feel like you've been fighting a little bit of the light and dark within yourself. And that dark is the Eight of Swords. But something is telling me that you do make a change. You do realize that. You know, if nothing else, realize that. Am I blocking opportunity in that Eight of Swords? Well, it's not that you're blocking it. It's just when it comes in, your fear-based mind may automatically shut it down. So because divine is a part of this, I feel like first and foremost, it's going to be up to me to set myself free. Right? To say I'm willing to have this new beginning. And you have two eights. It could be two people who are just beginning um, you know, maybe two people who are letting go of someone and they themselves each separately are starting anew. And divine is the one that's introducing the soulmates. But it is soulmates. I just want to look at the Eight of Swords. Look at this, the Knight of Cups, an unexpected cup of fulfillment. Well, we know it's love because we have the Two of Cups here. It's coming right over that Eight of Swords, guys. Man, if there's ever time I would tell you to free yourself, it is now. This is something that I feel like is truly going to make you happy. I feel like it's going to fulfill you. And I feel like this is a high vibrational love. And that's why the Eight of Swords turns into the Nine of Cups. Inner harmony. I feel like there is never a better time to fall in love when you have this inner harmony. But it doesn't mean that's always the case. So, bottom line, Knight of Cups, unexpected, but nonetheless, I'm coming in. We know that it's a soulmate. 
we know that you have the opportunity to really find this inner harmony within yourself. And I feel like it, the reason why maybe I put up those walls was because of previous love that went wrong, you know, broke my heart. And I don't want to repeat that. And I think you just got to tell yourself that not all people are like the people beforehand. You know what I mean? Like, because this, again, is divine working in your love life. Not the devil. Divine. And it literally is showing a soulmate. So I feel like you are making some changes. And again, the Knight of Cups is unexpected. But in a way, you can expect it. So I feel like this, you know, it's almost like I'm reaching you just in time. I'm reaching you just in time to tell you that, you know, if you're able to bring down those walls. And why do I want to bring down those walls? Because it is my intuition that is my GPS in this lifetime. And when I have those walls up, very hard for me to notice the signs. Because again, this is guided energy. I need to clear the energy of the past. And I feel like you need to tell yourself that, okay, so someone didn't love you right, but that does not mean the next person. Because, you know, I feel like every reading so far is talking about love that feels like it will last a lifetime. Now, let's say those, those, those walls stay up. Well, that just puts a lot of issues in front of it. Doesn't necessarily mean it won't happen. If anyone's going to stop it, it would be you. So free yourself and the rest will follow. Free yourself. Don't be so shallow. Okay. You know, and this is saying that it's, it was worth waiting for. Sometimes we've got to kiss a lot of frogs before we find that prince. I feel like you're finding that prince or princess. I feel like you have kissed some frogs. But listen, maybe those frogs taught you some things. You know, one of the things I feel like we do learn through relationships is what I don't want. And it's important to know that. The moon is like the light looking at the shadow self. And I think that's a good thing. Because I feel like this is me being comfortable with both sides. Knowing that, you know, we all carry the light and shadow side. Which one am I going to feed today? Well, the light is what's being illuminated. So, Cancer, put those walls down. Trust in divine. Divine's working in your life right now. And that's what these eight speak about. New beginnings. This five, a change. So this feels to me like this could be a love that you've had yet to experience. And I mean the type of love. I almost feel like this is also talking about like divine timing. When I put those walls down, that fear-based energy, I let it go. I trust in divine instead. Then I feel like that moves you into the energy of inner harmony. And that feels like what opens everything else up. You know, that feels like the right time. Okay. Wow. Cancer, cancer, cancer. All right, I'm going to go into Leo, but Leo, I want to give the Gilded Tarot a couple good shuffles first because I want to bring them 
I just want to make sure all the parts are available. So let's give them a couple good shuffles. One more. All right. Make sure my deck's in the upright. Okay. Leo. Ace of Wands. Passion ignited. What, I mean, what's going on with these readings? Passion ignited. It's like your heart your heart chakra is being activated. You know, the Ace of Wands to me is also um what do I want to say? Um ah, I can't think of the word. If it comes to me, I'll say it. All right, on the other side of that is heartache and loss. Accelerated motion. Another eight. So potentially a new beginning. You know, look at her. She's looking up at the star. It's like she's making a wish upon that star. When you wish upon a star, we have spiritual strength. You know, that spiritual strength feels like the ability to overcome previous heartache, previous loss, um, and understanding that, you know, things do end. Um, but it's about allowing what's new at the same time. You know, spiritual strength right next to the Three of Swords. I feel like this is your spiritual team saying, we've been with you all along. We are helping to guide you. We're helping to move you into, you know, what feels like a better life. Nine is about reflection. You know, but it is final reflection. I feel like that's tying back to that three of swords. Ace of wands. Inspired action. That's what I wanted to say. Passion ignited here, it says. But it's also the action steps to take. So it's trusting your intuition. And then moving forward. And it moves right into accelerated motion. But it's an eight. So a new beginning. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic magnetic attraction here. Chemistry. A strong man magnetic connection here. Well, that doesn't feel like it has anything to do with that three of swords. So I feel like the people here today... Um, it's funny, I don't know. I mean, you don't even have to be here today. I don't know why I said that. Um, I feel like this Three of Swords is old energy. Ace of Swords. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi. Want to go out? Hmm. I think so. Two aces. We have the Eight of Cups coming under an Eight. Hello, Star. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. This is about manifesting them. You know, the one thing I like to remind you with the Star's energy is this is really you working hand in hand with Divine to bring about these, these wishes. 
Well, I have four of wands. That's the marriage card. Commitment. Interesting, it's falling under the three of swords. I feel like this is saying that you may have had a prior commitment, been in a commitment with someone, and again, it resulted in heartache. Um, but that doesn't, again, it's like, that was then. That was then. This is about what's new. Two eights, new beginnings, two aces right before that. The star, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. You know, and it's like your spiritual team saying, you can handle this. You may tell yourself, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But your spiritual team is like, you can handle this. We have mm, the Eight of Swords. That might have been why I was feeling that. I don't know, I don't know. But then look at this. The Knight of Cups again. You know, it's a bummer when I see the Eight of Swords. Um, because, again, it is that self-created prison. It is a fear-based energy. But it's met by two other aids. One is accelerated motion, something that may move quickly. The other, the Eight of Pentacles to me, uh, because this feels like a love reading, <clears throat> can answer a question for you. Like, how do I know? Because I've been in love before and it didn't work out. How do I know that it will be successful? Eight of Pentacles says, if you're willing to put your focus on it, You'll grow it. Now, this would be both people, of course, putting their focus upon it. Then it will grow. But because you have these two aces and the Knight of Cups over the star, to me, it makes me feel like this is something that you really wanted anyway. You know, the Eight of Swords is really a, a human condition, let's say. Um, and what I mean by that is if we remember that we're spiritual beings having human experiences, human adventures, then we allow ourselves to take more chances, like close the doors to what no, is no longer serving us. And then the willingness to let this new door open up and surprise us. We can always say no, right? We can always change course. But this feels like an answered wish. You know, definitely feels like you were in a commitment before and that resulted in a um, little bit of heartache. I'm saying a little bit, could have been a lot. But here's the thing, this is really specifying um, about what's coming next and the way that you're going to feel about it. You know, the chemistry that's, that's connected to this Knight of Cups coming right under that star and also spiritual strength. So your spiritual team is helping you with this. Remember when you see a nine, think of it as like final, right? I'm reflecting back, but really only to see how, like, what can I learn from it? How have I grown? Am I proud of who I am today? Or have I let someone else's opinion of me who doesn't seem to amount much much to uh, doesn't seem to amount much anyway um but i could see like taking it on you know like the energy of someone um i mean you could have broke up with them they could have broke up with you but you know the words could have been ushered like you're never going to find love again and we all know that's not true or maybe you don't know that yet, but I know that. <clears throat> and I've had those words usher to me, like, no, no one's going to accept you. You have kids, you know. Well, they did. So, 
I simply feel like the Age of Swords is more about the question of can can this also be success? Can this be successful? Because I don't feel like the last one was. And again, Divine is answering you by saying, my dear, as long as you focus upon it, then it's only going to grow and grow and grow. It's going to blossom. This is something you've been wishing for anyway. And it's almost like that thing, you know, it's like, be careful what you wish for. Because it just might show up and here it is. Now, I do feel like that Four of Wands is relating to a past um, connection. But I also feel like it's also relating to this next connection. Again, the chemistry. Magnetic attraction. It's like, it'd be hard. Hard to resist. I think a two magnets, like, boom, they just want to come together, right? Unless, of course, we have them in reverse. I just learned, like... Um, magnets are north and south. Maybe we have them east and west, and we need to turn them back to north and south. Follow that north star. She's looking right at that star. We have the star. So it's like that star, that wish, here it comes. Can I allow myself to just experience I feel like that's part of sometimes our issue when it relates to the Eight of Swords. Again, wanting to know before it even begins, is this something that's going to last for a lifetime? Well, it goes day by day. And it is your intentions that you are, it's it's how you're feeding it. That will really be the determine of the determinator of whether it's going to, let's just say last forever, but it is showing a true commitment. And with the Ace of Swords here, mirroring that, I mean, again, my yes card, but this passion, right? Passion ignited. Chemistry. The magnetic attraction. It just feels like it's going to be hard to deny it. This is speaking of love. I mean, let's just face it. We're doing love readings today. Um, this is part of your wish system anyway. And your spiritual team knows that. And it feels like they're answering a prayer. I feel like I just simply have to stop Asking myself, well, there's nothing wrong with asking, like, is this something that can be long lasting? But I feel like you find that out as you go along. So maybe just the willingness to step into it. Again, the chemistry just feels like it will be off the chart. So I feel like it's almost undeniable. The Eight of Swords is really the only energy because I feel like this is the ability, like, I feel like you're overcoming or you have overcome the Three of Swords. But, again, you put up these walls. I don't want to repeat that energy. Then you need to just think about your own vibration. You know, when I put these walls down, and this just means that you're not trusting within your intuition. Where here, your intuition is being ignited. Your heart chakra is being activated. And the Ace of Swords almost feels like the direction. So, this doesn't feel complicated. It feels love. Definitely feels like love. Chemistry. Um, but again, that Eight of Swords. So, it's simply, will I allow or will I not? That Eight of Swords is coming before that Knight of Cups. So I feel like it's important that I at least look at that. Like, what is it I'm so fearful of? Part of it is I understand you don't want you don't want to get your heart broken again. So I say take it slow. But it's showing like this can be an ultimate commitment. You know, this is my favorite love card. 
And not because they call it the marriage card. It's because I know everyone in this energy wants to be there. Like no one's kicking and screaming. So I feel like the biggest thing for you is whether you're just going to allow it. You know, the chemistry, it's going to reach you. That's going to happen. And, you know, I feel like it's answering the question, like, if if this fear-based energy is created because I'm worried that, you know, relationships don't work out. Eight of Pentacles seems to be answering that for you. Again, if you put your focus on it, both people have their focus on this love, then this love will grow. But your heart chakra, heart chakra is being activated for a reason. And the Knight of Cups right under the star, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. And then boom, here comes the night. What am I going to do? What am I going to do when it comes for you? All right. I'm going to let that be. You know, <laughs> I see the beauty. But I also see where there's a lot. So far, quite a few have had the Eight of Swords. And again, that's a human experience that's a human um condition you know it is where we're trying to protect ourselves but that's you know that's what our intuition is for our intuition is our gps for this lifetime and if we can trust in that then things flow much more quickly you know it's like judgment saying i need your attention in the present moment why because I send you signs in the present moment. And if there is something that you need to be um, wary of, well, then they'll send you a red flag. Again, sometimes we ignore those red flags, but I feel like we eventually learn. All right, Virgo, my fellow Virgos, firm foundation, firm foundation. Look at this, two fours, rest and rejuvenation. This is healing. 44. Hello, nine of cups. So, inner fulfillment, but also fulfillment of a wish. It literally says it here. Wishes. Not singular. Fulfillment of wishes. We have material and spiritual prosperity. Well, the first thing I feel like is, as this relates to money and what you do in the world, I feel like it's like you're you're starting to receive um, the harvest of your hard work. I feel like for some of you, that's what you've been concentrating on. Like I've been concentrating on my work and not so much love. But this again is about fulfillment of wishes. So material and spiritual, spiritual prosperity. First of all, I love spiritual prosperity. That means your vibration has grown. It's risen. But this is also, I feel like you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. I get this feeling that some of you have kind of put love on the back burner, which is fine because I feel like you've been concentrating again in your material world. But now it feels like, okay, something else wants to open up because I feel success here. And I get this feeling of like, and some of you, it can be working from home also. And if that's the case, I feel like you're going to really start seeing the fruits of your labor. 
But let's go ahead and bring in Romance Angel. Virgo. True love. Here's a fulfillment of a wish. You know, and you don't even have to be looking for it. I feel like as I move into this inner harmony, and what that means is, uh, you know, it's like I've let, I've let go. Well, first of all, you've healed from the past. But I do feel like you've taken time out. And you've been concentrating on you. And that feels good because I feel like, and you're going to see the success of that. And I feel like, you know, I feel like right now you're sitting pretty good in your life. But true love is also coming in. This is a romance of a lifetime. This is a romance of a lifetime. It's like I've got my money together. I'm getting my business together. I'm feeling better and better in my own life. Even this healing over previous um, whatever needed healing. I feel you're very grounded at this point. So, you know, I can't help but think one of these wishes is love. Doesn't even mean that I was looking for it, asking for it. We have the hermit. So there's your major arcana. You know, and I feel like as you heal, you start to help others to heal. Whether I do it for a business or it's just who I am. You know, and how do you do that? It's because of the own your own experiences. It's because of you going through the dark nights of the soul. And to me, the dark night of the soul just means something that was not easy. But still, I was able to overcome it. We have justice. We have the five of wands. Well, I feel like you cut ties with someone. I feel like you cut ties with someone who, um, let's just say, had a lot of ego. King of Pentacles. And then the Seven of Pentacles. I love the Seven of Pentacles. Um, for really all things in your life. Because I'm really feeling, it's interesting, but this is the first reading where, I, where I'm feeling like money and my business, you know, what it is I do in the world um, and putting that effort in and now starting really to see the fruits of my labor. I feel like some of you have been single for a while, um, but I feel like on purpose, like I, like I did want to take this time out. I'm not seeing anything here where I'm being resistant. It's just that I knew that I needed this time out. I needed to allow myself to heal. And I feel like heal you did. Now, you know, this with justice coming next to the five of wands, it kind of is giving me a picture of potentially what was cut out of your life. So someone who had a lot of ego, someone who a lot of drama attached to them. And it doesn't even have to be someone I love. It could just be people. Like I decided, I, I took a look at my life. I looked around and I realized, you know, because I am who I hang out with. And I realized what energy was holding me back. I definitely feel like you have goals in mind. And I definitely feel you reaching those goals. But again, there could have been someone who had held you back, you know. I mean, of course, you held yourself back in a way, but it's because I feel like you were probably dealing with a lot of drama, a lot of ego, 
And um, I don't know, Virgo, I can't see, you know, I, as a Virgo also, you know, I can't live with somebody who just lives in their ego. It's too much for me. It's just not what I want. You know what I mean? And then you have the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles to me is like your tree of life. And to me, it's about certain seeds of intention that are coming to fruition. The, the message with the Seven of Pentacles is patience. You know, think of it as like your garden. You know, you plant those seeds, but then you nurture those seeds. And those seeds will blossom. This feels like because it's mirroring true love. It almost feels predestined. You know, I feel like, Virgo, you have been working on your spiritual self. You've been rising above. You know, like you, you've really taken a good hard look at your life. And it's like you're evalu evaluating it. I feel like you've already done this, though. Because in the Nine of Cups, I kind of feel you're single in that energy. But I do feel like you did cut ties. Again, I'm not going to say just love. I feel like it really anyone, anyone who is drama filled is like, no. And that seems to, in a way, set you free, but set you free in a way where you start to then think about yourself, focus on yourself, and you start to see the fruits of that labor. But then the nine of cups at inner harmony and then a fulfillment of a wish, well, Hello, true love. Hello, true love. I definitely feel that you, of all the readings so far, you feel the most grounded to me right now. Like, it feels to me like you really have had these realizations and you've done the necessary work not even because you were looking for love, but because you were looking for inner harmony. Because you were unsatisfied, because you were dealing with difficult type people. And I just feel like you just had no interest any longer. You know, if anybody was trying to hold you back from a dream, good luck. Good luck. You can't hold Virgo back too long. I like how the two fours are mirroring each other. It almost makes me feel like that because we have true love here, that both of these people are grounded. Then you have the king of pentacles under the four of swords. So, you know, you have, Ver, you have your major arcana here. Um, the king of pentacles would be like-minded energy. Doesn't mean we're exactly the same. Because the King of Pentacles looks at the world from the big picture. Where the Queen of Pentacles is really the one who dissects. Who can read between the lines. She's great for reading energy. And that may be a skill that you really have learned. So there doesn't seem to be any fear. You know, it's like. I feel like I'm sitting pretty good now in my life. And I don't even know that you're asking for love. I just feel like it's naturally coming in. Again, the Seven of Pentacles feels like probably predestined. Like soulmates who, you know, before they came into this lifetime said, let's, let's be together in this lifetime. You know, but then you're born with amnesia. Um, <clears throat> So part of the adventure is seeing if we can find each other. And I feel like when you feel good about your life, then you are so much more open to true love. Again, fulfillment of wishes. And for some of you, I feel like these are like subconsciously. Because I, I just get this feeling like I didn't expect this true love to come in.
But nonetheless, here it is. Here it is. So, fulfillment of wishes. I feel like one of them is talking about your money. Um, and, and, and I'm not saying you're getting rich, but what I'm saying is I feel like you're becoming, um, you know what it is you want to do. You're putting action into that. You're starting to see the material harvest of your own hard work. Even your spirituality has evolved. That's why you have this inner harmony. Well, I just don't know if there's a more perfect time to then fall in love. And I do feel like the two fours are signifying that both these people are grounded. Grounded. So my head's not up in the clouds. I'm not full of drama. And if they were, I don't think you would accept them. But this is about fulfilling your wish. So there's no way that this, what's coming in, is attached to drama. I feel like this is the energy you've got out. And that's what's giving you this inner harmony. Virgo, this feels like predestined love. But it's true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Amen. I'll take it. Okay. All right. Um, excuse me. Let me grab a drink real quick. All right, Libra, our birthday, our birthday people, happy birthday. My nephew just celebrated his birthday. He was 24th. All right. Mm, tower. The waiting game. Number two, victory and success. So, so much for that tower. A tower didn't hold you down. You know, may have held you back for a moment. It, you know, it says disruption here. And that's exactly what the tower is. It's disruption in one's life. But victory and success right next to it. Look at this, the seven of pentacles again. You know what I feel like here, Libra? I feel like um, some of you may have been waiting for someone to come around. You know, waiting for someone to, um, I don't know, be, be who you want them to be. Um, definitely could feel like energy of like, you know, someone who's in contact and then there's no contact. But listen, I don't feel like this is you putting up with that anymore. Because I feel like the victory and success, because it's blown its trumpet right back at the tower. It's almost like goodbye. Goodbye. And then the seven of pentacles opens up. So here it says patience and planning. But again, I read it as like your tree of life. So certain seeds... You know, that's what the patience is about. Certain seeds come to fruition. Well, if I've been in this waiting game with someone and they just keep disappointing me, that doesn't feel like the right time. But I feel like this is you, again, like blowing that trumpet at the tower, like, like no more. You're not having an effect in my life anymore. I'm not waiting anymore. All right, actually, I want to bring the romance angels in. Let's give them a good shuffle. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I'm not quite ready to take these yet. I want to get them 
nice and shuffled. That didn't feel like a very good shuffle. One more. You know, I'm seeing the 16 and then a 6. And to me, 6, six can certainly stand for relationships. Um, but it, often to me, it means moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on up to the side. Flirt. Flirt. Let that flirty part of yourself come out. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Wow. That is not talking about if this is someone you've been waiting for and waiting for it. It's not talking about them. Matter of fact, I feel like really this is like, again, the end of that tower. Even the end of the effects of the tower. Because, again, you're blowing that trumpet of success. And then opens that seven of pentacles. So, to me, a soul seed coming to fruition. Let's get a little bit more clarity on that. Quite a bit, but with the two of pentacles. Kind of matches back to the waiting game. Six of Swords, exactly what I felt coming under the Six of Wands. Six of Swords, you just need to look back one card to understand what it is I'm leaving. And that's toxic energy. You know, energy that's just become toxic to me, like affecting me in my life in some way, somehow. But this is the saying of no more. This is the leaving it. We have the tower. We have the emperor. Card of Aries. We have, well, there's that five of swords. Hello, ten of pentacles. Six of cups. And then the death card. Card of Scorpio. So. Some of you, you could have certainly been dealing with an Aries. Um, you know, here's what I want to say. And I know uh, sometimes people don't like it when I say this, but I do feel like the towers can really teach us a lot about ourselves, about our own life, about what we accept and what we no longer will accept. That Five of Swords directly attached now to that Six of Swords. And I feel like some of you may have questioned it for a while. Should I move on? Should I move on? Will they contact me? It feels like a game. And it feels like it's been playing with your heart. And I just feel like you can't take it anymore. Or you couldn't take it anymore. Because again, I feel the majority of you have moved past that energy. You know, even if like I've been waiting for someone. Doesn't mean like while you're waiting, you shouldn't like go out. Have a little fun. Do a little flirting. Because you never know who you're going to meet. And that may be exactly what it's asking for you. Like, get yourself back out into the world again. You know, reconnect with people. And then be, just be open. Again, this is energy where I'm not really expecting anything. I'm just thinking about my own life at this point. Right? I'm thinking about, I'm done waiting. Like, anyone who keeps me waiting, well, then clearly they can't. They, I don't know, I just feel like, can they have true love in their heart? And I don't mean that against you, I just mean, I feel like this would be a game that I feel like they probably play with everyone.
It's interesting you have the Ten of Pentacles that follows that Six of Swords. And the Ten of Pentacles really is a house of abundance. It's a house that can take root. And you have the Death card underneath that. Um, card of Scorpio, by the way. So your neighbor. You know, the Emperor. I don't know. Like... I just want to take one card over the Emperor because... Okay, we have the Two of Wands. Alright. So that makes me feel good because I was thinking, is it the Emperor that's got you waiting? And if it was, why didn't he come in reverse? So, now that we have the Two of Wands over, and it's interesting because you have the waiting game here, which is a two, but now you have the Two of Wands where you are about to step on a new path. You've made some changes. You got rid of the old. You are no longer willing to put up with the drama of people. You know, their toxicity. You yourself are finding victory and success within your own life. And I know what I was going to say that I know a lot of people don't like. Um, I do feel like sometimes the tower is also predestined. But it's that means it's there to teach us something. Like, what did I learn? Because often I feel in the tower, it means someone fell from grace. Well, maybe it's not my job to pick them back up again. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are connecting to, like, people of the past. And this is talking about bringing out your flirty energy. Or at least lighthearted energy. So I feel like if I meet someone during this period of time, I'm not... I'm not going right into like everything has gone wrong into my life. Instead, I'm going to let it be light and fun and flirty. <clears throat> and I wouldn't be surprised. I just get this feeling for some of you. It feels like someone may be coming into your life again. Not this person that you've been waiting for because it, clearly that's a tower. And I feel like that tower, it's meant to end. Because that tower had toxicity connected to it. Now, the ball was put in your court, as always. But because the Two of Wands is mirroring it, I feel like you're saying yes. You know, for some of you, you may, be mean, you may have even moved back to like a hometown. Or to like a place where um, you have happy memories of. Um, and I also want to say, I feel like, let's just say that you've gone through a divorce or something like that. And let's say you lost some finances, you lost some material things. Well, to me, the Ten of Pentacles is talking about like anything you've lost during these towers, you will regain, but, the, but you're going to regain them in a different way. You know, the Ten of Pentacles to me is something that truly can take root. And the Death card, it is the closing of the door. But I already know what door we're closing here because, again, you're blowing that trumpet right at that tower. And that's allowing this other seed to come to fruition. And because now the Two of Wands is over the Emperor, it doesn't have to be an Aries, but it would be someone that you could definitely look up to, someone who has integrity. Someone who is empathetic, caring, compassionate. Someone who's got a good job. The Emperor can also represent someone who's a little older than you, though it doesn't have to, but it can. But I kind of love how it's connected to the Six of Cups. So for some of you, I feel like this is someone you may be returning to your life, but it is not this person. Because that is what you need to put the uh, close the door to. 
and then getting yourself back out there. And I feel like the right person will just show. You know, and the more you can be in this lighthearted energy, well, I feel like the more you attract that type of energy back to you. So this is about you walking down a new path now. All these swords, goodbye. You know, two of wands is a great path to walk down because it tells you there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of desire. This is a path where um, sometimes you can feel like inspired. You know, like um, like your your um, intuition is inspiring you. Maybe I don't know why I'm going this direction, but something's telling me to go this direction. And then lo and behold, someone enters. And it's not even talking about taking something fast. It's saying have fun in it. Have a good time. Have fun. Allow Allow yourself to be flirty. Even if you don't know how to flirt. You know, I'm not a great... I don't, I'm not great at flirting, but I can keep my energy lighthearted and maybe someone else is going to be flirting with you. So I see you claiming victory. I see you moving away from toxic energy. I see a soul seed coming to fruition and I see you walking down this new path. I feel like the Ten of Pentacles is representing, you know, it it represents a lot of different things to me. It represents a house of loyalty, the house of abundance. And again, that would make sense with the Emperor because I feel like if this is something, someone that I may end up connecting to, this is someone I feel like would have a good job. Or another way of saying that is I'm not going to have to take care of them financially. I feel like you have no interest in that anyway. So you're on to the next. You're on to the new. And all this is asking you to do is extend your lighthearted energy to others. And then just watch what happens. I have a feeling someone's going to make you blush. Someone's going to make you blush. Someone may tell you things that you haven't heard in a long time. And um, I feel it's going to make you feel good. Okay, where are we at? Scorpio. I think I want to change decks again. So let's use the light seers. Again, they're already pre-shuffled, but just want to give them a shuffle with you here. Mm, feels like it should start here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I don't know why I'm coughing so much. All right, Scorpio. We have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords usually signifies some type of communications coming in. Eight of Wands. Fast moving energy. Interesting because look how fast he's moving. Like he's running to get on his motorcycle. Maybe to come in. Also, what I think about it, bring about, you know, when I think, see the eight of wands, something it reminds me is to think about where my own vibration is at. Like what vibration am I putting out into the universe? Am I calling something in? Because it is an eight and that is about a new beginning. We have the queen of swords. I kind of love the image of this queen of swords because she's just sitting there. Reflecting upon her future. You know, she doesn't look like she's putting like all these expectations like of, oh, something must be this way, that way. Her sword is down. She's not in a defensive mode. She definitely feels like she's just thinking. And interesting, right behind her, what I think about, I bring about. And this knight is like 
jumping on his bike. We have the Queen of Cups. I love this image of the Queen of Cups because it really explains you. You know, I feel like Scorpio is one of those who um, you can get along with all types of energy. You know what I mean? Like, you are you no matter who you're dealing with. So, like, you know, I could be in front of a judge. I'm still who I am. Yeah, I don't think a judge is better than me just because they're a judge. You know, but also I could be sitting with a homeless person and feel the same energy. You know, compassion. This is you connecting. You can see her connecting to above. Look at that little key around her neck. It's like the key that unlocks the next door. You know, I don't know if you're purposely or subconsciously calling someone in. But they're hearing it. You know, this reminds me of like, I've been saying this a lot in the October readings where I felt like um, there are going to be people changing their status on like the social media net, um, platforms from like, you know, in a relationship to single. And someone catches word of that and they're like, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Doesn't mean that you know that. Doesn't mean you know that. Honeymoon. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Wow. We're moving right into the holidays. So this could set, definitely signify a time period for you. <laughs> you know, a lot of water there emotions just like this person's like heading to their bike to come in this person's on a ship and it's like they're coming and they're actually on a gondola this key seems to be holding the secret to what's next but i feel like also this is you realizing the power of your intention because you're not putting a whole lot of let's just say extra energy you're just it's like you are visualizing your future and you're connecting to above and what you think about you're bringing about and it's fast moving energy hello And I feel like what it's saying is that this is um, coming about around the holiday season. Well, hello, October. I mean, the holiday season, depending if you consider Halloween holiday season, some do. Um, but, you know, we're, we're, it's just, we're, it's right there. All right. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Well, she's, again, that little psyche detective. We have Hello, Knight of Wands. And then Temperance. Divine Timing. Temperance's first message is Patience. But I have to tell you, a lot of times I feel like Temperance is being patient with us. You know, maybe waiting until that sword was down. Maybe waiting until you... Put like those intentions out there, but you were clear. And I don't mean clear as in like the person I want coming in next, you know, must be Irish, must have green eyes. No, you're talking about vibration. Like, I feel like you know what you want. You know the type of person you want. Divine is like, you got it. Right. This is about trusting and divine timing. But there's nowhere in this reading where I feel like you're trying to push anything. I feel like if anything, you're understanding that 
your intentions, you're learning that like you have that power. You know, that's powerful energy that we forget about. Like putting those seeds of intention out into the universe. Another way of thinking about that is like, where is my own vibration? If if I've been clearing like the cobwebs of the past, I feel like that automatically lifts your vibration <clears throat> as you move into like even more spiritual energy. It lifts your vibration. So someone feels like they're coming in and they're coming in quick. And I feel like this honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together, is a big clue. Let's move this down one. Let's just take one. Hello, Will. Hello, Destiny. Right next to Temperance. Do you think divine is working in your life? Wow. You know, I feel like if this is talking about love and I am putting those intentions out there, again, I want to think about my own vibration. But I feel like temperance is just waiting. Like when you're ready, we're ready. And I feel like there's someone else just waiting also. It's like waiting for divine to give them the signal, the sign, and then movement, right? They're moving quick. The Eight of Wands is moving quick. The Knight of Wands moves quick, right? But that Knight of Wands, it's desirable. It's passion. And this feels like it's meant to be because we have your destiny here. And that key that I keep seeing, that feels like the key that unlocks this next door. You know, it's like, I don't even feel like you need to wait long. I feel like this, the holiday, are a clue. I say a clue, let's say a sign. But the passion that's connected to all of this, the action. You know, and I almost feel like it's not even you that's moving. It's just you that's putting out those intentions. It's you that's pretty clear now what it is you want in your life. And it's divine who's helping it to come about. Listen, you're definitely connecting to your destiny. So, you know, it's like you have this feeling. Maybe you don't know, but you have this feeling. You just have this feeling. Right, that there's someone right out there for me. Well, you're right. And here it comes. Divine timing. You know what I love when you see temperance is you can really let go of control. You know, put those intentions out there, but then trust within divine timing. Trust that they will be answered. Again, this is someone who is part of your destiny anyway. But this may be the right time. You know, I feel like my Scorpios probably are not going to be spending the holidays alone. Now, you may, might just meet them. But what also? I mean, you like, I feel like, because I'm feeling the romance of it, like the, just like um, who had flirts, like I'm just feeling the joy of it. But really the romance of it, even the uncertainty is like piquing my interest. Temperance is looking right at your destiny, right at the wheel. And it's like all you needed to do was connect to that energy. And the rest just takes care of itself. 
Happy holidays, Scorpio. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Let me grab a drink again. I have to keep remembering that I don't have, I don't know how long this computer um, goes for. I think three hours at the max. Capricorn. Or, I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Ace of Wands. Eight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. The Hangman. Okay, I feel like you already know what I'm going to say. You know, what I love about this image, it's like your higher self is trying to reach your lower self, your human self. Like your spiritual self is just trying to sh show you what you're doing. How you're tying yourself up, right? This blindfold, something I don't want to face. What is it? I'm better off facing it than not facing it because the hangman right before that, it's almost like that does kind of put a pause in the action, but the Ace of Wands, again, it's, it's inspired. It's, it's inspiration. It's a sign. And then the seven of pentacles again, yes, it does talk about patience, but listen here, I kind of feel like the universe is being patient with you. Um, but again, it talks about those seeds, right? The seeds that I plant. Hmm. Forgiving and learning. I could see that here. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment, Sagittarius. As you release and heal the past, that Eight of Swords, you experience more love in your present moment, Ace of Wands. You know, you don't know it when you're the Eight of Swords energy. And you have every right to, like, hold yourself back. You know, but yet it doesn't stop this Ace of Wands. It doesn't even start stop this seed that's coming to fruition in the Seven of Pentacles. But what am I going to do with that seed? Am I going to love and nurture it? Or am I just going to let it dry up and die? You know, the hangman is seeking wisdom. Like spiritual wisdom on my next steps on this earthly plane. Page of Cups. Page of Cups, I feel, often feels like your inner child. Page of Wands, look at that. Two pages and they're looking at each other. Like eye to eye, they're looking at each other. Interesting. This could talk about... Um, someone of a younger time, but you would also, you know, like back in the day type of energy. These pages are looking right at each other. Almost talking like, hey, how you been? The Empress. 
And then beautiful, the Eight of Cups. So you're setting yourself free is what you're doing. And you're saying in the Eight of Cups, I'm not going to allow the past to have any effect within my present moment, nor my future. This is someone who has looked at the cups that have knocked over. And, you know, sometimes I feel like it's taken the blame off of you. I do feel like this is someone who I feel like some of you, um, you know, it's like the injury came to the inner child. <clears throat> but I feel like this is something you can get over. Um, you know, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe what I wanted didn't want me. And, you know, or what I wanted didn't treat me well. You know, forgiving and learning. Well, that's what the Empress is all about. She does forgive. And she has learned. You know, if the hangman is looking for wisdom, well, the Empress has found it. Let's remember the Empress has learned through her experiences how not to close her heart down. This is someone who, you know, naturally is loving and nurturing, naturally is creative. But her lessons have taught her how to be strong. This is someone who easily receives signs. Why? Because she lives in the present moment. She knows that divine will guide her. She trusts that. And she knows that every once in a while, I just got to do some dusting within my emotional house. I just got to clear the cobwebs, the cobwebs away. I got to free myself and allow myself to experience new beginnings. I don't want to hang on to, I feel like saying hate, but that may be a little strong. I got to be able to forgive. Now, forgiving doesn't not mean you naturally have to pick up a phone and say it to that person. You're forgiving within your heart. You know, the Empress doesn't carry hate around. Remember, she's loving and nurturing, but she's also very powerful and strong. Why? Because she's really learned how to, well, she's learned how to work energy. She knows how to read people. She really does trust her intuition. And that's what she uses as a measure of whether something will be good or not good. But the Ace of Wands being the very first card, that, that inspiration, what does it say here? Nothing. So inspired action is like giving you the steps to take. And I can't help but think these pages know each other. Especially with the Seven of Pentacles right above it. It's almost like this is like, like these are puppets and this is the puppet master. But I mean that in like almost a spiritual way, if that makes sense. Because they know each other and they are looking right at each other. Remember, eights mean new beginnings. But eight is also the number of infinity, as above, so below. There's nothing that you've gone through in this lifetime that you as a soul or a spirit have not already been through. There's nothing you cannot get through. And listen, I know that from experience. Two eights but they're completely different again. This eight, the eight of swords, again, I'm kind of holding myself back. But you are seeking wisdom at the same time. So I feel like you're receiving that wisdom. And that part of that wisdom may be just saying, 
Look within that emotional house. Clear those cobwebs away. Forgive where you need to forgive. Understand that sometimes some of the things that you've been through were your biggest teachers. That's really how you've learned to be the Empress. And then I feel like these pages are coming together. They're coming together. And I feel like both of them are being inspired um, to take certain action steps. And it feels like at the same time. You know, the Empress knows if something is real, if love is real. Because she, again, has learned to read energy. It's very hard to pull the wool over her eyes, if even possible. And I feel like if someone did, it would be for such a short period of time, because very quickly she'd realize that. And I feel like what this is saying is for you to realize how you have grown within your own life and knowing how deserving you really are and not looking at the past as like, woe is me and why is it me? Well, because there's something I'm learning from it. There's something I have learned. And that's what brings you to the Empress's energy. So these pages feel like they're coming together. And I feel like it's a very good thing that we then have this emotional clearing. Setting ourselves free. Gaining that wisdom that the hangman was seeking. The empress loving and nurturing. So her heart will be open. But again, it's almost like when you allow yourself to be in the empress's energy, which means that you really pay attention to your intuition, that's just one of the things, then you don't have to fear so much. You'll give something a chance. This could be someone that you haven't seen in a long time. But again, I feel like both these pages are being given the action steps to take. And it feels like, again, with the Seven of Pentacles, this is a soul seed of intention. It's time. This is the time. This is the time. Will I allow it? Hope you say yes. All right. I think that was just Sagittarius, right? So Capricorn. Justice. Part of Libra. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Victory. Hello, Two of Cups. Wow. Two cups right next to that Ace of Pentacles. I mean, is it talking about love? Of course it's talking about love. It's talking about soulmate love. But that doesn't guarantee us anything because it's our own energy. You know, where is our own energy? I mean, we could turn down a soulmate. But here's the thing. With justice being your very first card, I feel like it's talking about, again, the cutting of ties. And it can be to a person. It can just be to energy. It can be the way I've been thinking. You know, something is new. Because you're standing in the spotlight now. You know, it's like, finally, the spotlight is on me. And I feel like whoever is in the Two of Cups with you, like, I don't feel like they've come in yet. But it's, it's almost like the spotlight is what allows them to see you. <clears throat> and that Ace of Pentacles, remember, anytime you see the Ace of Pentacles, it's meant to enhance your life, not deplete it.
Just look at the roots that are coming from this ace. That's why a lot of times I read it as a seed. You know, again, I can take this ace and I can grow it. And it will blossom. And it will throw off new seeds. And they will blossom. Or I can let it dry up and die. But because you're standing in this energy of being victorious, I feel like it's just being victorious in your life. Then I feel like there's no way you're just going to let that ace dry up and die. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. That means I don't have to push it. Really, to me, it's just like enjoying it. Like enjoying it for all that it is. Remember when justice shows up in a reading, it's also about making you whole again. Well, because I feel like all these readings went to love. And you have a soulmate energy here right next to the Ace of Pentacles. That definitely feels like you're feeling whole again. Seven of Swords next to the Page of Swords. Three of Cups under the Two of Cups. And let's take one more. There's that Queen again. <clears throat> okay. So, Seven of Swords comes out. Untrustworthy energy. Right? Called the Thief in the Night. Someone who takes more than their fair share. Page of Swords coming before that, I feel like it's also talking about a type of communication. You know, communication that probably did not flow. But justice to me is you, like, ending that. You know, like, I feel like you're pretty clear here that you're not looking for lower vibrational type energy, love, really anything in your life. I love the Three of Cups coming under the Two of Cups. Because first of all, the Three of Cups talks about how it's going to make you feel. And that's joyous. Like, I feel the joy. But it's also a reason to celebrate. And then the Queen of Cups follows that. Of course, that can mean... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. But I'm just noticing how she's holding that cup. And she's looking towards the future. And she's got that Ace of Pentacles right above her. You know, you're falling in love. And, um... This love is just different. It's different than what you've experienced. And I feel like because you're in the energy of victory, again, the spotlight is on you. I feel like it's also talking about your own vibration. You know, I feel like you have no interest in being with anyone who, who doesn't speak truth, who you can't trust. That type of energy, matter of fact, that's what you cut ties to. And I don't think you have any interest of returning to that energy. And I don't think you are going to anyway. Because justice is also about making you whole again. And then the two of cups. Well, there's your soulmate. And this soulmate puts real joy into your heart. And then the romance angels allow this situation to unfold naturally again starting as an ace right the ace of pentacles that has roots that can really grow and ultimately the queen holding 
the cup. You know, I feel like this is the main message here is as this starts to move towards you, just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Allow yourself to experience the present moment energy. You know, as this comes together, like it feels like it feels romantic and it feels like I don't need to project way out in the future even though even though the queen is looking out into the future but i feel like that's because she's got her back to this old untrustworthy energy you know just allow this joy to fill your heart and then i feel that the rest will just kind of take care of itself okay to let that be. Sometimes the messages are just that clear. Oh, I put that back on top. All right, let's actually switch decks back up again. And we have what Aquarius and Pisces left. So let's use the psychic tarot. Well, let's put this back. So, Aquarius. Temperance. It says patience here. But remember, this is about divine timing. Foundation and achievements. Wow, that's the marriage card. That's a commitment. All in divine timing. First of all, 14, 4. Look at this. There's your major arcana. The star. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. And then we have intuition. Interesting because temperance opening up your reading. That talks about patience, yes. Patience for all good things to come together. But again, I want to remind you sometimes temperance is having patience with us. But this this is really flowy type of energy. Like divine time seems to be opening up and then the star, right? Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. But this is about manifesting them. And then your intuition, well, that is your GPS. That will lead you right to this, um, this commitment. You know, again, it's called the marriage card. I called the commitment card. Doesn't mean it can't lead to marriage. I just called the commitment card because I just feel like not everybody wants to get married. It is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Well, that's kind of beautiful. So that signifies that the energy that's coming in for you is of a high energy. And that would make sense with temperance opening up your reading, right? Patience, but patience in divine timing. And maybe part of what that patience is about is you opening your heart again. You know, I feel like you're on your way to a true commitment. You're on your way to like what feels like true love. But I do feel like you're going to have to trust your intuition at the same time because it's what's leading you. So try not to second guess it. All right, let's go underneath it. I'd love, definitely love to hear everybody's feedback. I know probably most of you have left at this point, but like what you think of this format. Hello, Ace of Pentacles, right under Temperance. She's like, I promise you, 
in divine timing, this seed will come in. But part of this, this divine timing is you opening your heart again, your ability to give. You know, because this is talking about the highest energy of all. Well, that means who's ever coming in, whoever you're in this commitment with, is also carrying the same energy because divine is the one that's really controlling it, right? It's like when the timing is right, the timing will be right. And here is the ace. We're seeing this ace a lot. And remember, that ace has roots. You know, the ace of pentacles is... The one ace that means that something's coming into your physical world. And yes, it may start as a seed, but it's your loving and nurturing that helps it to blossom. But it does mean it's coming into your physical world. We have the three of pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Let's take one more. We have the King of Cups. Now, can represent, of course, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, but, of course, I'm going to say it doesn't have to be. Now, I love the Three of Pentacles coming under the star. Because this does feel like it's, you know, like these feel like love readings. So in the Three of Pentacles for a love reading, this talks about your individuality and celebrating who you are and being proud of who you are. Doesn't mean you're perfect because none of us are perfect. But you're still celebrating you. But this is someone else who's able to Appreciate your individuality. This is, you know, when I see the Three of Pentacles, when it relates to love, I feel like it is soul recognition. It is soul recognition. And then we move into the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> so that really, the Nine of Pentacles talks about successful self-employment, but it's also very independent energy. And that's just naturally you anyway. You know, like, like feeling strong on your own two feet. You know, I feel like I don't need someone to come in and not that I wouldn't accept it, but I don't need someone to come in and take care of me financially. If anything, I feel like it would be blended. But it is showing like you feeling good on your own. Some of you I feel like you may do something spiritually, like a, like a spiritual type business. Um, because the Nine of Pentacles also talks about material harvest. So it literally may be harvest time. You know, when it rains, it pours. But this feels like a good rain. And then the King of Cups over the marriage card. Well, I have to tell you. If there's any king I'd want to see, because I'm not thinking about the signs, it is the King of Cups. Because this is someone who does have a very loving heart. Now, if he's in reverse, I would tell you to run. Listen, I was married to the reversal of the King of Wand, of Cups. And where he gave his love to everyone. Do you know, I had no intentions of ever returning to that type of energy. And I feel like you feel the same. But this king's in the upright. So this is someone who can appreciate love. This is someone, you know, what I often think about in this type of energy is if I'm out, you know, out and about and something happens to me, who am I going to call? I'm going to call you. You are first on my list. And I feel like it goes both ways. So temperance is literally bringing this into your life. It is a wish coming true. It's also saying to you, you there's nothing you need to change about yourself. Appreciate who you are. Be who you are. No masks are needed in this relationship. 
And remember, it's saying it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive highest energy of all. Well, when you're feeling strong on your own two feet, then I feel we're much more open. And I want to say there's no fear in the table here. This is you really trusting your intuition. So I feel like the flow will be very easy. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like the knowing will be very clear. And it's coming into your physical world. And it has the ultimate chance of turning into a true commitment. Maybe even marriage. But let's start at the beginning. And let's just enjoy it as we go along. Aquarius, it sounds very, very good. And I love that I feel like you're re also receiving like your material harvest. So it's like you're receiving a lot during this time period. But again, that Nine of Pentacles tells me that you put a lot of work in, you know, you can talk about work in your business, but also work on yourself. And that may be why it's talking about high energy, you know, high vibration, divine, ushering all of this in. And listen, I can kind of let go of control here because divine is saying you can trust in me, trust in divine timing. This ace will show up right when it's meant to. Okay. <laughs> it's safe for you to love. Pisces, last but not least. Moving on. Moving on. Oh. So, remember, in the Six of Swords, that is the Six of Swords, it means that you're moving on from toxic type energy. Can be people. <laughs> can be thoughts. Can be all of the above. We have power. Cardalia. Number eight. Look at this image. This person's part human, part lion. This is the courage of looking deep within oneself. You know, knowing that there's nothing I cannot overcome. And it definitely feels like you just overcame something. Because you're moving on. And what that does says power. But I feel courage with that energy. It is an eight. So again, I, you know, the number of infinity. But I also feel like it's your spiritual team. As above, so below. But it's also about a new beginning. Hmm. Deception and envy. And then, uh, interesting, another seven. Choose wisely. Interesting. Two sevens here. You know what I feel like? I feel like this Six of Swords that opens up your reading, it is talking about toxic energy. And now I kind of feel like it's talking about a toxic person. And I feel like what this is saying is, you know, it's going to be up to me whether I clear this energy or I don't clear this energy. Um, but I feel like for the majority of you, you probably have already cleared it. Look at this, six, seven, eight. And I feel like what you're saying to yourself is, you know, there may be an, a, there may have been a period in your life where it just felt like lower vibrational energy kept coming back to you. Like 
like hard people to deal with, people who didn't treat me right. It feels like it was multiple times. And I feel like what you what you ultimately came like the realization you ultimately came to is all right, I gotta look within myself. I gotta look at my own life. I gotta decide what I want to keep and what's gotta go. I want better. Therefore I have to do better. All right, let's take romance angel. Romantic feelings, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Interesting. Your feelings are real, worth exploring. Mm. Look at this. Two of Cups. There's a soulmate. And you know what I love? It's coming after the fact. It's coming after you've cleared the toxicity of your life. The people in your life. You know, the energy in your life that just, you know, had become toxic to you. And that can mean a, a million different things. It, it held you back some way, somehow. But listen, here's a soulmate. And then the romance angels tell you there's going to be romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. We have the Page of Pentacles. Hello, Ace of Cups. King of Swords. Um, can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we have the Strength card again. Double Leo on the board. But let me tell you, this could talk about, because we have the soulmates, um, often I feel like soulmates have similar experiences. And this could talk about two people who have dealt with, you know, someone who is just untrustworthy, a cheater, a liar, what have you. They just, you know, um, yes, the Ace of Cups is attached to that. But I feel like that's what was, like I gave my love. I almost feel like I gave it to the wrong person. But but I don't want you to blame yourself. Well, you know, I shouldn't have said it that way. Um, because, you know, this could have been a younger energy also. Because I feel, I, I get this feeling like of when I know better, I do better. And because we opened this reading with the Six of Swords, so this is you knowing now, Right. When I know better, I do better. So now I know. Now I know. So, you know, I feel like, yes, you did give your love to someone. And um, maybe they did take advantage of it. But I feel like this is, but I feel like you've closed the door to that. And this is just talking about new love that's coming in. But it just so happens to be a soulmate. I mean, how many soulmates have we gotten? Out of 12 readings, a lot. And by the way, that's how I opened up January. Like, it's one of the predictions I met, I made that I felt like a lot of soulmates were coming together this year. And the year is not over. But I feel similar type energy with your soulmate. Like, they themselves also had to, you know had to stop, look around, understand, you know, be bold enough to leave what's no longer serving them. And, you, and same for you. But really, both of you um, now having this courage. You know, even if I'm not looking for love, the two cups comes out anyways, right? And then the romance angels is asking you, or telling you that these feelings that you're feeling that they are real and they are worth exploring. 
So again, I can see like the different vibrations of love. One was a lower vibrational love, but listen, maybe I just didn't know better then. But now I do. And the Seven of Cups, I could see where it could throw a little confusion in the air. And that might be why, again, it's saying your feelings are real. Because maybe there's a little uncertainty, right? Like, I don't know, this feels too good to be true. But I feel like, you know, didn't I say that before? Well, maybe you did. And maybe it was good in the beginning. But this feels like something that is meant to, like, this isn't a part-time love. Let's just put it that way. And, you know, soulmates, I feel like, um, I feel like you come together in divine timing anyway. And we don't want to, like, look at these, these hard lessons of our lives and be like, woe is me. Instead, we want to say, like, look how I have grown. Look what I was willing to cut out of my life. And look how it has served me. I feel like one of the clues here, as this love comes about, it's going to be communication. Like, I feel like there's going to be deep, meaningful conversation. I also feel like through conversation, you're going to, you're going to find that you both dealt, dealt with a lot of similar energy. You know, I feel like you both dealt with the Seven of Swords. You both had to overcome it. You are both are stronger now because of it. And this love may come in in the most unexpected of time. It may even seem like a time where it doesn't feel like the time is right. But it's right. It's right. Because again, the feelings that you're going to have... They're real. And they're worth exploring. And this Ace of Cups, it's also connected to the soulmates. So that really is unconditional love. And that can talk about love of lifetimes. You know, you may have loved in more than one lifetime. And you may love in other lifetimes. But this is about this lifetime and it now coming to fruition. But it feels like it was important that you moved on from, again, the toxic energy. Because otherwise, I don't know that it could be all that it can be. But you did. You did. And it's like the universe is saying, well, this feels like the right time. Feels like the right time for these soulmates to come together. Each of them, I feel, you know, came into this lifetime to learn their own lessons, right? To have their own experiences, but then eventually come together and share those experiences, but also help to heal each other. So this feels very, very good. After a period of time, that probably wasn't so good, but you are coming out stronger. Your feelings are real and they're worth exploring. The soulmates, the Ace of Cups, the similarities, and what you have learned. Even the Page of Pentacles speaks about that, right? This has been a path of learning. And as you're learning, you're growing. As you're growing, you're becoming more powerful. And the lesson to learn not to shut our heart down. Because, again, here comes this soulmate. I don't think that you're expecting it. And it seems to be like you're even questioning the feelings. But the, but the romance angels are saying these feelings are real. So go ahead and explore them. Go ahead and explore them. All right, cancer, or cancer, sorry, Pisces. I'm going to leave it there. Um, 
I want to thank everyone. I know there's probably not a lot of people left, but who's ever left, thank you.